Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to learn how you can create a professional business email from uh, by purchasing a business email from GoDaddy and it's going to be a super easy to follow tutorial and uh, the main requirement for a business email is uh, because it makes you look more professional. So instead of having a normal email like your name at the rate gmail.com or yahoo.com or something else, you can have your name at the rate your website.com. So it helps people to trust you and it also helps them to make sure that it's uh, actually from your email ID and not someone pretending to be you. So the first thing you have to do is go to godaddy.com uh, website and if you have never created uh, or purchased anything from GoDaddy, I would suggest to check out my website. I have uh, found some coupon codes and listed them here. So um, you may find something useful here. And after that, um, it will automatically take you to GoDaddy website. From here, you will see an interface like this. And here you can see the email section. I will click here. And there are two email, uh, email and office and professional email. So this is the Microsoft 365 email. Uh, we, we are not going to cover it in this video. We are going to cover today the professional email. So either you can click here or you can click uh, here to go to the professional email option. So this is a uh, service only provided by GoDaddy. Uh, this professional email, the Microsoft 365 is uh, they have a partnership with Microsoft and uh, that's a completely different thing. Um, we will cover that in uh, any other video. So here you can see this C plans and pricing and there are two plans here, individual and team. So in this video, I'm going to cover the individual plan. If you want, you can also go with the team and they uh, have a different feature for that, which, which allows you to assign tasks to your team members. Okay, so here you will get 10 GB of email contact and uh, 10 GB of basically storage space for your professional email and uh, you will get a domain email with your domain name like this you at the rate your domain dot com or your website dot com. Okay, then click on add to cart. So we can use this email, we can connect it to the desktop app and also on mobile app so it becomes easy to manage. You can also access it from the GoDaddy webmail. I will show you next how to do it. So just for this tutorial, I will select one month plan and then click on continue to cart. So the more months plan you buy, the cheaper price you will get. Um, so just for this tutorial, I will select this one month plan. And here we go. Just review the pricing and then if you have followed uh, my website and uh, found any coupon code, it will automatically get applied instead of having a promo code. So, um, and it may not be applicable if you select only a monthly plan or something, but uh, that's completely optional. I will click on I'm ready to pay. Now you will have to either sign in to your GoDaddy account from here or you will have to sign up. I would suggest to not use these two options, Facebook or Google. Instead, you it will be better to use the continue with email option. And it's very easy to create an account. Just uh, fill your email, your username, password, and your personal details like your billing address and name and stuff. So it's very easy to do. You can, anyone can do it. I already have a GoDaddy account. So I will go back to previous step and select the sign in option. So now I will fill my uh, sign in details and directly show you the next steps. Okay, so my payment is complete and now GoDaddy will automatically redirect to the my account area. You can see it's confirmed. You can also check your email. You will also get a receipt there. And so I will select go to my account. And here you can see all the products connected to your GoDaddy account. You can see I have this domain which I purchased yesterday and created a video and here is the email and office section so I will just uh, drop down here select and you will see this uh, setup uh, pending so I will click on setup. Okay so the first step of setting up our email account is we have to select a domain. So you can see there are two options. Uh, Either I can select the domain which is already available in my GoDaddy account or I have to select a domain which is not in my GoDaddy account. So let's say if you have a domain registered with Namecheap or Google Domains or some other third party uh, domain registrar and you want to connect it to that, 
then you can select this option just fill your domain name here so i will select like uh, my main website domain name which is uh, connected to a different account uh, different domain registrar so uh, it will ask you all these options okay so this is how you will have to do it then you will have to fill your username only let's say i will fill admin and then uh, you can change the name what you want the email account to have okay and then you will have to select this email is for me so you can directly create a password and send the username password to uh, to a gmail as a backup also or you can also select this option if you are creating let's say for your team member so you can do that and it will create a temporary password or you can create a password and uh, then put the team members email id here and they will get the account details directly okay so you can also put like your team members account uh, email id and also your email id so we'll have a backup okay so in this case uh, i want to continue with my with the domain that is currently available in my godaddy account so what i will do is go back here click on change domain and i will select this domain so and if you have never registered a domain name and you want to learn how to do it i just created a video yesterday it's available on my youtube channel and i will put a link to that in the description also on, on also on the top right corner you will be able to see right now a link to it so you can follow that it's very easy and very simple to do this takes like two minutes to purchase a domain and that's it it's very simple to do so you can watch that if you want to purchase a new domain name and i will click on continue okay now i just have to fill uh, the email address so let's say i will fill contact at the rate okay and uh, I will select my first name as uh, let's say I want it to have a, like a support or something like that so I will select uh, support and then last name I will select team okay so I want this email to have this name support team instead of my name because I want it to be a business email instead of a personal email okay so you can uh, put anything you would want so I will select this email is for me and connect it to my GoDaddy account and I will create a password okay and in this email ID I will put another email ID so I will put a comma and I will put admin at the rate smart okay and then I will click on create So the advantage of uh, your having the same domain connected to your GoDaddy account is GoDaddy will automatically make the DNS changes required to connect to this uh, email account. If you are connecting it to a domain that is registered with a third party registrar, you will have to make some DNS changes. So, uh, so that's the advantage of this being connected to your account. And if you have any questions or any doubts, you can post in the comments and I will try my best to help you out if uh, I if I'm able to okay so this process just took like two minutes and you can see our email is ready and we can access it directly so what I will do is I will just open this in a new tab and do not worry about this we can find this instructions uh, later also so and now here you will see this checklist um, this is a little optional but still I will uh, walk you through it so we will set up our other devices later let's first send our first email click on send email here you will have to select the time zone for the first time setup you can also change the settings later also so i will not uh, take the tour i will cancel it and uh, okay let's send our first email let's click on new email here and subject hello so this just like the usual emails we send okay let's send it i will also later show you how to directly uh, connect it to the app on your desktop your mac 
uh, windows and also your mobile devices okay and also you can see a notice here that your dns records were recently updated so it may take some time before you can actually start uh, receiving emails and uh, during these hours so there's a dns propagation time which may usually doesn't take more than 30 minutes but sometimes it takes a little more than that and uh, during that time if you uh, if someone sends an email to you and the dns has not been updated so you may not receive that email but uh, it will automatically get resolved you don't have to do anything except just uh, waiting for a few hours to for this process to complete okay and i will show you how to verify that so this is my website lookmydns.com i have created this free tool for you to uh, check your dns records so i will go here and uh, i will go here actually so this is my domain name how to shop. I will go here and put my domain name okay and I will select MX records and click on find you can see here uh, most of the DNS servers have found this uh, correct DNS record so it has been updated but um, for your in your case it may take some time okay let's go back here and now I will check uh, if I have received the email and you can see this is the email I got from GoDaddy. So it, this also contains a link to your sign in to your professional email. And this is the details you remember. This is the username, display name, and uh, this is the email login. Okay, so you can directly, if uh, you forgot how to do it, then you can do it directly from here. And okay, so meanwhile, uh, when till we receive this email, let, let me show you how to connect it to your desktop app. So on Windows, what we have to do is, just go here and search for mail or you can search for the Outlook program. This is a completely free program provided by uh, Windows 10 to every user. Okay, so this will be the default thing. So recently they have changed this to a new Outlook thing. I will show you the old interface also. So, uh, so this was the old interface and uh, right now they have changed it to a new Outlook. So I'm just showing you the process is same, just uh, there's a little difference in the interface. So if you see the new interface, I will go here. And you can see we have also received our email. Uh, let's continue this and then I will show you that, okay? So let's go to settings here and then from go to here accounts click on add account and then put your email id here contact at the rate how to sg dot shop okay click on continue and just uh, enter the password that we created earlier okay then click on continue then again click on continue so usually Microsoft will automatically find the right settings for you this to work. So you don't have to manually enter the IMAP server details and everything. Okay, so you can see uh, the emails have been synced and you can get the mobile app too, which I will show you later, then click on done. And now I will go here and go to manage. Okay, so you can see we have this, it has found the SSL TLS, so it's good. Um, let's close this and now we can send a new email from this email ID. So this is the email ID we just connected to our this app and in inbox we can find this email ID that I sent from uh, my Gmail you can see so it was sent to me okay and um, what I can do is to send a new email click here new email and from here again okay I can let's reply to this email okay got your email thanks okay click on send it's sending okay it has been sent so let's go here and uh, there's an email and draw Okay, so uh, now you know how to connect it to your desktop. So this makes it really easy. And also you can use some other third party programs like Mozilla, Thunderbird and something else. Okay, then I will minimize this. And here you can see this the web 
if you don't want to use any app you can directly also use it from the browser directly go to the email here and just see okay so i will just refresh this page here and if you go to send here you can see all the emails this is the email we just sent from the microsoft app so you can also see this email here okay so everything will be synced here and you can see there is a new message from our new email id let's see it so this is the new message we got got your email thanks so it means it's working but um, Still, I would suggest to wait a few hours before uh, so you make sure that there is not, you don't miss any emails. Okay. And from the settings here, you can also change the theme here if you would like to do that or uh, something else. Okay. You can also change the layout a little. Uh, I will select it vertical. Then if you want to connect it to your devices, you can do it from here. Connect your device and it will basically show you the step-by-step -step instruction. So we have already done it for Windows PC. And if you want to do it from here, you can email with Android mail, or you can back it for Mac OS also here. And it's very easy to do. And there are also other settings like you can add your signature, vacation notice, and also we view the stats, so you can see here. Okay, so you can further explore these options and uh, that's how easy it is. You also change your password, edit the personal data, uh, add a profile picture here, click sign out here. And so I hope you guys found this tutorial useful and if you have any questions, post in the comments and also check the description. I will link to the tutorials how to connect to the mobile app. And uh, I would recommend you can directly connect it to your Gmail app or Outlook app on your mobile device. It will work on any mobile device, Android or iPhone. And for desktop, either use it from the directly from the browser, or you can use the Outlook app, or you can use some free app like uh, open source Mozilla Thunderbird, or any other email client, you just have to put the server details. Okay, so that's it for this video, we'll see you in the next video.